Well, hey there, Hero. It's David H. Lawrence, the 17th, and I've spoken eh, a few times anyway about the idea of perfection getting in the way of shipping. And I've gotten some pushback. I've gotten some, some comments, especially from people who've been in the business for a long time, and this is how they do things. They really work auditions to the bone and try to get every ounce out of each audition as they can. And they'll push back and they'll say, I don't want to send something in that isn't absolutely gorgeous, isn't absolutely wonderful, and I'm right there with you. I don't want to send anything in that isn't that. I'm just saying, get to it faster. And if I can't appeal to you from a position of giving you back more time, right, if you get to the good stuff faster, if you make bolder choices faster, you're going to get back time as a reward, let me appeal to your cheap ass self, okay, for lack of a better term. Um, if you are making bolder choices faster, if you are more agile with your work, if you're more accurate with your work, and you're getting to the good stuff quicker, you're going to be more profitable. You're going to make more money. In the end, you're going to be able to audition for more things in the same amount of time or less. And if you book at the same ratio that you would if you took a long time to do each audition, then you're naturally going to make more money in a shorter amount of time. So if I can appeal to that part of you and that makes the difference, well, then great. That's fantastic. But the, the notion of the more accurate you are and the more decisive and bold you are when it comes to making your choices... The more money you'll make is is what I kind of live my life by. If I can get things done with great pr uh, quality in a shorter amount of time, that to me is a huge win. And I hope it is for you too. And I know what the problem is. The problem is many of us want things to be absolutely spot on perfect. And that is a noble goal but it's not a logical one and it's not an achievable one. Not everything you put out is going to be perfect, number one, and this notion of good enough to get it out the door, good enough to show whoever the, uh, the casting entity is, whether it's an actual casting director or direct to a client or direct to a new, uh, a new requester or voice seeker on a uh, paid casting site, you just want to give them as much as you can to let them know you can do this job, that you got this, that you got their back, that you're able to do it. And the notion that a perfect audition as opposed to a very good audition is going to make all the difference in the world, you know, that's, that's a subject that may or may not be true, may or may not be true. But my, my point for this particular video is, Consider, just consider, the notion that getting the job out the door in a good enough form, shape, that it's clear what you're capable of doing, as opposed to the absolute most polished, perfect, awesome option and, and final product that you can, which will necessarily take more time, which would you rather be counting on? Because again, there's no guarantee that that perfect audition is going to be perfect for the person watching. Maybe perfect for you, but it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be perfect for the person that's seeking your help in getting their voice work done or their on-camera work done. So the, the main point of this video is if you can bring yourself to get to your bold and meaningful and perfectly uh, engaged as opposed to perfectly executed audition uh, and choice to serve the story. The faster you can do that, the more money you'll make. There it is, bottom line. The quicker you are, the more accurate you are in the shortest amount of time, the more money you'll make. So would you like to make more money? Yeah, me too. So tell me what you think of this. I know that some of you, like me maybe, who are a bit of a perfectionist 
it's going to be hard to let go. But when I started to do that, when I started to think, you know what, this is good enough. I've got a bunch of other things to get to, and I'd like to get to those, right? When I started doing that, things started to fall into place for me. They really did. So tell me what your thoughts are. Scroll down below this video. Leave me a comment. Tell me what, uh, tell me what your thoughts are as I harangue you about being faster so you can make more money. If you want to be on my list, I'd love to have you. Go all the way down to the bottom of the page if you're on VOHeroes.com and fill out the form that says get on the list and you'll get on the list. It'll be awesome. I'm David H. Lawrence, the 17th. I thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you tomorrow.